Hello everybody. Um, welcome to week three of summer preschool. Um, this week we are going to learn about, we're going to take a trip to the sea and um, we're going to do projects that are related to the sea. So today we are going to do a sand project. You're going to need your bag that is labeled number five because it's the fifth art project we're doing and you will find three of these bottles of sand in your bag and you're gonna need to use your liquid glue also you could also try and use your glue stick um, that's up to you there should be both white and black paper in your bag and um, basically what you're gonna do you're gonna put glue on your paper and then you're going to um, just sprinkle sand on top of it and you can mix the colors up a little bit if you want to you can do it any any pattern that you want to you can make a an actual um, landscape or scene anything you feel like really this is all up to you it's just a fun way to make a picture so I've got the glue stick out also because um, that way we can maybe create some different textures the glue stick is gonna just be flat while the regular glue you know is gonna come out in clumps and bumps and so it'll make a different type of texture this is my daughter Mila. She is 10 years old. She is gonna help me today to show you a, her um, her version of sand art. So we're gonna do this together. All right. So Mila, you can pick whichever colors you want. Um, you guys only got three different colors um, because I have to have enough for everyone. Me, I'm gonna start with the glue stick and I'm just going to, I don't know, do like a, a little swirl. How about you, Mira? And then I'm going to get some, I think I'm going to try this color. It looks like it's a peach or something. So you're going to just take the top off and sprinkle it on top. You'll find that it comes out just very easily. Oh, before you get started, it's a really good idea to have something like a tray. I have a big tray here that you can pour your extra sand into because that way you can always use it again or you can use it for something else so you see this is what happened oh it kind of looks like a snake doesn't it ew i don't like snakes okay so um let's see what am i gonna do around it mira is going crazy over here she's putting a lot of glue on i don't know it looks like she's doing something from a computer game usually she does okay mira. squid from school too okay so can i borrow that glue please yes thank you um, I think I'm gonna do something with that too. And um, let's see, maybe I'm going to do... So you're supposed to unscrew the cap. <laughs> yes, you have to unscrew the cap. I just told the kids to do that, but you were not paying attention, hungry. were you, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do a couple of little squiggles here. Um, oops, that was the wrong glue. Uh, maybe I'm gonna do blue this time let's do blue okay, I'm gonna just sprinkle it over and depending on how much glue that you uh, how much um, sand you put on top of your glue it's gonna have different colors so it's gonna be really 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 neat this is a very easy project for you guys um, today sprinkle off the excess and there we go so you can tell that where I used the glue stick it's all flat and where I used the uh, liquid glue it's kind of puffy so that is the job today easy peasy lemon squeezy lots of fun are you done with yours Mia no not quite yet so can you make your own colored sand as a matter of fact yes you can you need very fine sand and then you need some um, some colored chalk and you're just going to get your fine sand and use and rub the chalk on top of it so let's imagine that this glue stick was the chalk you're just going to rub it over the sand like this and the chalk will kind of start to come off uh, just like how we colored off. phoebe yesterday <laughs> just like she colored the do neighbor's dog with chalk yesterday <laughs> um and then uh, the sand will just take on the color of the crayon. So that's a pretty easy thing to do. Um, 
but of course you can also buy little kits like these and it's nice to have the little squeeze bottles because it makes it a lot easier for you to get the sand out okay mira why don't you um finish up with your sand so that we can see your finished product now she is doing several colors at a time before um just dusting off the excess sand uh so we're gonna see how that works that might look interesting i'm yes. gonna do another thing here i'm gonna just take some glue and i'm going to get some sand on top and now i'm going to oops, use my finger i'm going to use my finger here and smear it so that's another thing that you can do this way the sand Finished gets mixed it. with the glue Finished it, Mom. okay hang on let me just show them this okay okay so you can mix your sand in with the glue it's it feels kind of funny that it's a little bit um tickly prickly when you do that with your finger and then you can just sort of lead it around on your paper in whichever direction that you want to do obviously my art doesn't look like watch does it not at all but you this was just to show you the different things that you can do you can do anything that you want so we're going to take miras and it looks like this and we're going to just dust it off dust it off oh that looks good <laughs> oh look there it is it's kind of like um it's colored glue that you're using yeah except it's this it's just glue and sand so i use a lot of sand on it <laughs> now if you're gonna make your own colored sand I, you can't just use the sand that you have in your sand box probably you want to you're gonna want to make sure that you get some nice fine and clean craft sand also therefore you can't just go to the beach and scoop up sand and use it you probably could if you were to wash it and dry it and clean it and all that stuff but that's a lot of work to put into it so um you might need to go and get some actual craft sand if you dust it this. off like, ap like after you put all the colors on the sand kind of mixes it, it does mix a little bit so now i can show you we have our tray here oops with different colors of sands that we use and a lot when, of blue when we shake it around we're gonna get a, a new we're gonna get new colors i can show let me lift the camera here so we're gonna get new colors and then um, we can use that again to make more art so even if you run out of sand use the extra sand that you dusted off because you can always get a little extra fun out of that so um Make some, black, black make some black, make some make some white, it's all up to you, and have fun with it. How come you have two pieces of black paper? Well, that was just in case. The kids got um, a couple of pieces of white and one black, I think. Okay. Okay? <laughs> all right. If you guys have any questions like this one does, um, you, are, you can always have your mom or dad um, send me a message. Uh, you can email me or you can uh, ask me on Facebook. All right? Or ask me during zoom okay um have a great day have fun with this and i hope that you'll have fun this week with our trip to the beach bye now